Hey guys, d -Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. We're gonna get a little wet today. Starting with level 4-3, The Amiss Abyss. This game loves rhyming and so do I. Hits me in that special spot. These two levels, if I recall correctly, are a little tricky. I mean, things are starting to ramp up a little bit. This one in particular, though, is pretty neat. You'll see why in just a second. We have another silhouette level, which is always cool. I really enjoy the aesthetic of these. But as you've seen, I'm pretty horrible at, uh... Underwater. <laughs> I'm actually not really a huge fan of being underwater, to be honest. I don't mind swimming. It's okay, but, you know, you wouldn't find me being somebody going to the beach or a pool that often. I would probably be more inclined to go to, oh boy. I'd probably be more inclined to go to the beach than the pool. Going to the pool just kind of seems like a waste to me. If you're into the pool, it's awesome. I'm happy for you. you That's a big old catfish. Haven't you ever heard of a get these before? So I'm trying to be vigilant here and explore as much as I can. Being able to see your surroundings is a little tricky in this one by design. And some of the things that I look at are very confusing to my eyeballs because I am not the smartest. Okay. I'd like to have you. Thank you. There's a lot of cool looking fish in this level. Oops. Starting off really well. We're doing great. Okay, looks like there might be something up here. I bet this will give us something fun. And it does. The first puzzle piece. There's a lot of them in this one. Game. From time to time, like, you know what? Let's just go with. I don't know, five puzzle pieces. And then other times the game is like, how about not, oop. How about dying? I can promise you though, there will be less dying today than last time. Actually, I probably shouldn't say that. Cause I don't know. I'm a little scared. But anyway, we're gonna do our best today. Last time was a little embarrassing. Apologies to those of you who expect ultimate success. Basically, I could say, if I'm gonna sum it up simply, that it wasn't very epic. So we're gonna get back to playing to a higher standard. For you, the fans. My only fans. So, expect higher quality gameplay today. This level isn't the harder of the two. The second one, I do remember for a fact being pretty gosh dang tricky, so... You don't have to forgive me. But maybe just cut me some slack. Okay, I'm just kidding. You can be as critical as you want. I mean, I'm critical of myself, oops. Speaking of, one of my favorite things to do, because I'm that kind of guy, is I like to go back and rewatch my episodes. Mostly because I like to... I don't know if I'd say fact check myself, but I like to go back and listen to the things I say, because I know I say a lot of things that are just not accurate, which is fun, right? It's fun. There's another puzzle piece just kind of hanging out. I think some of the kind of grass in this area, or like algae, seaweed, garbage, whatever that is, I want to say that that stuff's like electrified, so you gotta really be careful. It's pretty shocking that they would do that in a game like this. But yes. I like to go back. Oh, is this gonna open up for me? Oh, I gotta hit this. What? Oh, what a weird mechanic. Oh, what is that thing in the background? Looks like something from, uh. Like a little big planet. Oh, wait, is it. Hold on just a second. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh man, this is not going well. These stupid gosh dang jellyfish getting up in my business. 
could really use a... Okay. Sorry, Diddy. I was trying to sing you a little Diddy, and then I died in the process. Okay, oops. Man. Yeah, swimming mechanics, definitely not my favorite. But puzzling, puzzle piece acquisition mechanics. Oh, yeah. Oops, tactical reset. Totally intentional, don't worry. 100% on purpose. But yeah, I like to go back and listen to the things I say because I'm wrong a lot and it makes me laugh. I think in life, sometimes it's possible to take ourselves... Oh, see, there you go. Those are electrified. Confirmed. Just wanted to show that off there. Sometimes in life, there's potential that we take ourselves a little too seriously. And, uh, you know, that's not good for our mental healths. Hell, health, healths? Plural of health? Not great. If you take yourself too seriously, you gotta be able to pump the brakes a little bit. Is there anything down here? No. It's really hard to tell if something is bonus related or not. There's not really a good, super clear indicator of what is and isn't bonusy. This looks kind of bonusy. I like a nice big bonus. But yeah. I just like listening to the goofs I make. That's kind of part of the fun of making these videos, as I know I'm not very good at these games. But, uh, you know, we're learning, we're growing. I know you guys like watching me grow. Become a big, strong, epic Let's player. That's important, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and... I'm not... Is it supposed to be a switch? Like, I don't... I'm not quite sure I understand what exactly we're dealing with here. But hopefully we got everything so far because we hit a... a check mark pig. Can you... Okay. So we can run into that big sa... Oh! <laughs> that was the... Not... Not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I like listening to the goofs I make and the incorrect things I say. It makes me chuckle. Hopefully it makes you chuckle too. I promise I'm not doing it on purpose. Where's the... Oh, is the... Okay. Time for a tactical reset. Totally on purpose. That time actually was on purpose. Okay. So unfortunately we don't have Diddy. That's a bit of a bummer. But the game only gives you one shot at this guy. And that's also a bummer. So... You gotta do this banana bonus by yourself to get a nice amount of puzzle pieces. Very nice. Okay. Slide down these slippery slopes. Get yourself a life if you need it. And if you look over here, there's a sneaky puzzle piece just trying to hang out. I don't have time for that. No hanging out on my watch. So I wanna say... These fish looking kind of speech. Let's follow them around and watch this. I want to see these are anemones. Saying that word makes me feel like the character from Finding Nemo who could not say anemone. All right. So we got to wait for the fish to come back. Please hurry. We are drowning. I just want to... Okay. Whew. More of a creepy robot. I, I'd, I'd love to hear the explanation for what that means. Creepy robot. All right, there's the letter G. Oh, I missed the N. Oops. Let's go back and get it. One thing we won't miss, though, is over here. Don't hit that bonus or the, the bingo barrel yet. We have a brand new type of bonus. This is fun, right? more platforms and these time this these time these time this time they're angled which makes it so much easier to grab all these bananas definitely not annoying in any manageable way this is definitely tougher to do i will tell you that it's kind of hard to like focus on them that's my problem okay come on give me come here please thank you that should be all the puzzle pieces can't believe i forgot i forgot to get the gosh dang end 
That's okay. We'll come back. Oops. Let's just get out of here. That was a pretty decent run through. Cog. We got all the puzzle pieces on the first try, though. Nice. Actually, getting the Kong letters is more important to me than getting the puzzle pieces. But I'm doing both because I care about you guys. Of course. Let's make sure we can find where that N is. What would we do without it? Be very sad. That's the answer. The only downside to that is you start way, way back here. So we got some exploring to do, but we know for a fact that it's quite a ways away. So we can kind of breeze through this level. We'll make a pretty quick splash and just power our way through. Oops. But once again, wonderful music by our guy, David Weiss. I don't know if there were additional musical artists that contributed to this soundtrack, but, you know, oops. Oh, man, that was close. You can always count on Mr. Wise, Weiss, however you say it, put together an ex excellent score. One of the things I do know by listening to myself is that I struggle with uh, speaking. I don't know... If I'll be able to just... Yeah, I feel like... Uh, I feel like I should have been grabbing all the letters. I don't know if the game will let you just get by with getting the one you didn't have. You might have to have all of them. So this is not the smartest thing, but at least I can find it. We'll do a return trip. Once I do... I don't know if there's a way to... I think there's a way to do a... a save and quit. Once we find it. So we'll do... Ah, come on. The swimming mechanics. Man, those really get on my nerves. I want to say that it's probably in one of these areas with these gross, weird robots hidden in these little alcoves. All these weird jellyfish. 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 Okay. And swimming. I wish it was less difficult to do. It kind of chaps my buns. And this is actually probably a mechanic in the game where using Funky would probably be pretty good. He can infinitely spin. I don't think we're not quite there yet. So let's keep our eyes peeled. So far, so good. I would imagine it's probably in one of these areas that I kind of breezed on through. It's probably at the top of this if I had to guess, or something like that. Or somewhere around? No? Well, it was wishful thinking. For sure. Let's go ahead and bonk this. It's gonna be one of those situations where it's always in an area that's like kind of hard to see. The game likes to be sneak. Oh, there it is. Or was that it? No, that wasn't it. Hmm. Well, we definitely have to go back and get it, so we'll do that. Don't worry. I think that yeah, I think we just have to get the. We just have to get the G. So we're feeling pretty good about it. That wasn't too bad. Not too bad. So the next level, though, that we will do in a few moments is we will come back and do the irate eight level. That makes me think of the um, the uh, the Tarantino film, The Hateful Eight, which is kind of more of an adult film. So viewers, if uh. If you're not an adult, maybe don't watch it. But if you are, or I mean, do whatever you want. I think I've got a good pace on uh, where that final letter will be. So we'll try this one last time. We gotta get it. 
And I do think that we should have the freedom to continue to power through. I don't think that the game punishes you if you don't get all of them. I think because they're they're translucent when you wind up getting them the first time. In every subsequent gathering, you should be good to go. Also, I really love that that catfish animation that he causes everything in the area to just kind of explode and die. What a powerful catfish. I know people are really big fans of catfish for sporting events. I've heard that they like to throw them onto the ice at hockey games in certain places. It's kind of weird. I've also heard that uh, people eat the catfish. Can't say I've ever had. I'm not really much of a pescatarian. If you're into fish eating, that's cool. I know some people are allergic to fish, especially shrimps and lobsters and crabs. So if you can't eat them, then, you know, probably not something you'd look forward to. I can't say that, yeah, I'm just not really... I get it. Like, I get why people would like it, but it doesn't really do much for me. I'm not much of a... of a, of a fish... fishist. Well, maybe that would mean I don't like... I do like fish. But then I'm like, I'm not discriminating against fish. Alright, here we go. I just missed it. Here's the end. And thankfully the game is generous enough to just let us get it that way. So we don't actually have to get all of them. So something to look forward to in the future. Oh boy. Getting close to tactical reset realm. Here we go. But we're doing good. So far, so good. Oh wait. Oh, I got another heart. I didn't realize that. Oh, come on. Oh. Poo poo on that. That is not cool. That's all right. I was trying to keep these episodes shorter, but it's tough to do when I goof so much. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. It would have been nice if I would have just gotten this the first time. I was pretty close to getting it the first time, and I want credit for it. I was doing a pretty darn good job. Once again, I don't pre play these levels, so finding stuff is just kind of based on memory. Sometimes I run out of that. And my short-term memory is kind of poo. My long-term memory is pretty decent. I get a little hazy sometimes. There we go. No, no, stop it. Quit. Stop. Stop messing with me. Quit it. I also love that because I took a hit as just Donkey Kong now that, uh, it's split up, but we do get a heart there. Ugh, I wish it would register when I do the things that I say that I'm gonna do. I'm already bad enough at this game, game. Let me, let me live. All right. So now we can just finish up. We have all the things we need. We did grab the N. So we can just power through. Oh, but we can just, if I could just, okay. If I could just, if you could just, okay. Ooh. Kind of close here. I don't remember this area being super easy, so I might have kind of screwed myself. Which sometimes, if people aren't screwing you, you gotta screw yourself. Okay, here we go. No, stop. Do not. Jellyfish. Ooh, we made it. Okay. Okay. The next level, if I remember, is uh, even harder. So, great! But it does have fewer puzzle pieces. I'd like to think of the next one as being relatively tricky in uh, grabbing the puzzle pieces, the irate eight. If you can't guess what this is referring to, it's an underwater creature that might be a little angry. We have to deal with that now. I don't know if it's our fault, but you know, sometimes you have to be responsible for other people's mistakes. So, somebody ticked this thing off. And, well, we're on the hook. You're gonna see why. In just a moment. So instead of going down, you gotta get on up. Here we go, another one of these, which is substantially harder to do by yourself without a Kong Canyon. But we'll manage. Oops. It's kind of tough to know which of the platforms are going to pop out 
That's my big problem. I think that they just kind of alternate left and right, but it's not super clear. Okay, if you could just allow me to have this, that'd be great. Oops. I don't think that's gonna work. No! Well, we'll do a tactical reset. Might as well. We're early enough into the level that it would be kind of pointless not to. We'll get spiky. Oops. I'm all about efficiency. And sometimes you have to take something sharp to your buns in the name of getting things right. Lessons to live by. I think I I think I know the kind of the the pattern better this time now than I did last time, so we should be okay. Ah, should be okay. I say that. The word should is very suggestive here. Subjective, not suggestive. No! I said I was gonna die last. And I think that my threshold is still pretty good. Because I died a lot. So maybe there's a hole here that we can... No. There are more spikes, though. Ooh, and some aquatic ambience. As we kill ourselves. That's such a sad animation. Poor Donkey Kong. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. We'll try that again, again, again. I was doing so well. Yeah, having the Kong Pena for this one definitely helps. I feel like I can do it without it, but it, it definitely makes it infinitely easier. Especially if you don't have the pattern down. You just gotta kinda hop back and forth. That seems to be kind of the winning recipe. And then you, yes, there it is. You almost have it. If you could just, if you could, okay, if you could just, just, thank you. See, first try, easy. You don't even need, you don't even need a helper. You can just do that on your own. Problem solved. So hop down in the water, enjoy some aquatic ambience. Violence free this time. So this one, there are these weird little kind of underwater mines. Who's putting these here? I don't know, but it's kind of rude. If you heard that, things are gonna get a little dangerous. And I don't know off the top of my head what the name of the song is. I think it's Lockjaw's something, Cavern, Lockjaw's something, but it's one of my favorite songs. So it's kind of combining the two. Do things great. Oh, get out of here. I was gonna say, that didn't look too solid. You can swim in here. Yeah. So those are two of the easier puzzle pieces that you're gonna get. This level is pretty gosh dang challenging, as you'll soon see. But for now, we'll uh, enjoy the simplicity of how much easier it is. What's our pri- okay, great. Garbage! I mean, not really garbage, but- oop! Oh, look at how cute these designs are, come on. Alright. Need to kill one of you for the sake of getting some oxygen. And you're gonna need Diddy- or sorry, Dixie here, using her ponytail propeller. Oh, come on! Game. Not cool? I don't think there's anything up here. There never seems to be. They should put little goodies in there. A little breath of fresh air. But yeah, Lockjaw's whatever. Great song. One of my favorites. Once again, still horrible with names, as per usual. I don't know if there's anything up there. Doesn't look like it. Oh, thank goodness. But yes, here we go. Here's the main gimmick of this level. It's a visit from Cthulhu. Our Lord and Savior. Yeah, this is tough. And it's the, uh, oops. You will die if you get inked. So you gotta be quick. You gotta be fast. But thankfully the game is nice enough to give you the extra three hits, or two if you're playing it normally like a good person, by giving you the Kong Canyon. 
And it's nice that they don't give you the hit right there at the beginning. So, kudos to the game designers for not being complete jerks. But you do have to watch yourself. I don't know. I'm trying to find. There's something. Oh, right there. It's in there. Ugh. Okay, so I might have understated the whole, like, dying part. This is tough. Getting those getting those puzzle pieces and Kong letters is entirely possible without dying. Thankfully, though, when you do get them, the game does not punish you. And it lets you keep them as part of... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, you gotta be quick. It's just tough to recognize things fast enough before you've already goofed. Oh, please. Yes. So it's these little alcoves here. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely possible to grab this stuff without dying, but it is tricky to do. These things are getting a little inky. And if the ink gets you, you do die, so... You just gotta be careful. Ooh, that was close. I did not think I got that. This is a little bit of a respite. Respite. I like that word. Ooh. How do we feel about octopus and squid, everybody? Do we like it? Do you eat it? Do you play with it? Hopefully you're not getting too many inappropriate thoughts from these tentacles. That's bad. But Dixie... They have resurrected her. She is coming right back. That's good. Ah, oh, it's just kind of creepy. It's like wiggling all around and stuff. But don't forget, another bonus! Substantially easier to do this time around, thankfully, because we do have Dixie to give us another jump. We do like that. It's already paying dividends. I like having the Kong Pains around. It definitely makes the game more fun. And it makes me less bad. It makes me look less bad as a result. And I really appreciate that. So I think that's four puzzle pieces. Yes, we have one more. I think we're still missing two Kong letters. I think we're still missing one Kong letters. So keep your eyes peeled for that, uh... I've said that like a million times. Keep your tentacles peeled. Ooh, never mind, don't do that. Anything up here? Nope. I just don't- I don't understand why they chose to do it like that. Getting me all excited for no reason. Alright, so I do believe that this is more of the same. So get yourselves ready. Locked and loaded. There's the G. Gotta go quick. Alright. So I'm assuming that the final puzzle piece is gonna be in a similar location to the first one. Or at least a similar execution when it was when we were dealing with Mr. Octopus here. It's really hard to keep my eyes whipping back and forth. I whip my eyes back and forth to try to find it. I don't know where it is, so hopefully we'll find it. Oops. Is it in here? This looks promising. Yes. Oh, hurry. I can't. No, no, no. Oh, I almost made it. Did you see that? You did see it because you're watching this video. But I almost made it. Almost made it. Okay, but we do have it all. So now we can coast a little bit and just prioritize going fast. With Cranky, apparently. Or not. I mean, I'm just gonna burn through this. Let's make sure I did get that. Did I get it? Okay, I got it. That's pretty epic. This episode has turned out to be way more epic than I thought, so... Also, I'm hitting the wrong button. I was like, why is he swinging his gosh dang cane? You caniac? Yeah, I'm... I'm kind of just brute forcing this. Although I did really well avoiding these the first time around. This is not gonna end well for me. Oh boy. I also need to grab some air. Some sick air. Oh boy. Okay. That's what I get. That's what I get. I wasn't minding my, my P's and Q's, dot my T's and cross my I's. I wasn't doing it. And that's what you get, you get punished for that. All right, let's get Dixie. She was the one who got us this far. She deserves the chance to finish the level out. We're gonna try to be, okay. <laughs> I said 
I was trying to say is that we're going to be a little more careful, but I, uh, I was wrong. I mean, I'm not trying to not be careful. It's just the game is it's tough. It's throwing these big spiky blue balls at me. What do you want me to do? Oh my gosh. It's kind of tough to avoid them. I'm going to watch out for the... Ugh. Okay. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, I undersold the rate of dying thing, and now I think I might have brought on myself a curse. So let's try to avoid the easy box. If we can. We gotta go quick, though. It's that stinky ink. That'll catch up with you. And then it's... Okay. I'll take that one, because that one's right in the middle and real annoying. I'll take that one, because it was a bonk and it was real annoying. I'll take that one, because it was coming at me and it was real annoying. So we're doing fine. Guys, we're doing fine. It's fine. We're still doing fine. Ooh, I thought I would have gotten past him on that one. I did really well, like, the very, very first time that I did this. And now I... You ever do that when you play games where, like, the first time you play, you're like... Wicked sweet at it, and then every time after that, you just can't get it right. Okay, these are scary. What the good gosh dang is happening right now? Oh, this is like a like a kind of like a mini boss. Oh, you have to hit the. Oh, oh he killed himself. Nice. Well done. And well done, you viewers. Congratulations, you finished the level. All Kong letters, all puzzle pieces. First try. Just immaculate work. Very impressed. You deserve a raise. And we're gonna treat ourselves now. Uh, we can go visit Funkies. We'll help stimulate the Kong, the uh, Kong Con Okay, I was gonna make a joke, and I totally ruined it. So we're gonna do 10. We didn't do five the first time around. Okay, we are doing really well here. Okay, one for four. One for five so far. We got a lot of funky toys. That's like two for seven or two for eight. Two for nine. Three for ten. That's pretty good. Yeah, three for ten. Thank you, Funky. Okay, well that's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and I'll see you next time. Bye.